Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my spring empties. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be showing you all of the products that I've gotten rid of and I'll be giving you many reviews, good or bad, thumbs up or down. And if you're not a subscriber and you're 40, 50 or more and you're interested in youthing, then I hope you'll click that little bell because when you do that, that will just send you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get down to this and I have a lot to show you today. The first are some skincare empties. The first is Retin-A and this has been my best and my worst friend lately. It's my best friend because I've been using it for about two years and I really think it's made a tremendous difference in my skin. My skin just looks a little firmer, a little dewier, a little glowier, but this is not without its problems. I guess all gifts have negatives too. And I have been going through a lot of peeling lately, but I still think the benefits of using Retin-A are worth it. Now my next empty is a single-use face mask and I'm going to be purchasing the full-size version of this because I absolutely loved it and this is one of the only face masks I've ever used that truly made a difference in my skin. This is the Aveeno Clear Complexion Purely Matte Peel Off Mask and here it is up close. And I think I bought this maybe in Ulta in the line when you kind of impulse buy something. And I got it not realizing it was a peel off mask, but I thought, heck, I'll try this. And I remembered from my teenage years that we would do these peel off masks. And so I put it on and then I pulled it off. It kind of dries to a clear blue kind of plasticky mask on your face and you pull it off. And what you're pulling off with it is all those dead skin cells and almost immediately, although my skin looked a little bit dewy and pink at first, it looked exfoliated and hydrated. And the very next day was a Monday at work. I think this was last weekend. And when I went to work, I didn't say anything about having used this, kind of forgot it. And my sister said, oh my gosh, what have you done with your skin? It looks wonderful. And as I've mentioned before, I never get compliments from my sister. And I thought, oh my gosh, this stuff really works and I'm going to be adding it to my skincare. Now my next empty is something I wish I didn't love so much because it's rather pricey, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I use this every time I put on my foundation. I just take my foundation brush and give it about five sprays, exactly five sprays of this. And then I use the brush to smooth out my foundation. This Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just helps my foundation go on flawlessly and stay put all day. And I have gone ahead and purchased the big granddaddy of this. I think this one was $39 or $49. But to me, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray is worth it. Now, my next empty is to whiten up your eyes, and I've mentioned this before. In fact, I think I did a video of it a few months ago, and I actually used it this morning. I don't use it every morning because for this little vial, I think it's maybe $12, $14, something like that. But every time I want to look my very best, I'll always put in a drop in each eye of this Lumify. And you basically put the drop in and then wait 10 minutes before you add your contacts. And one time I didn't listen to that and I put my contact in too soon and my contact ripped in two. So there must be something in this that is not exactly wonderful to contacts. But what it does do is it takes my yellow snake eyes is what I call them and it makes them bright and white and young looking. This Lumify for me is a game changer and I'll never be without it. Now this next product is something for my eyes. Actually it's something for my eyebrows and as many of you know I am tail challenged and I don't know if that's because I'm kind of having a thyroid issue or what but my eyebrows end about right here until about a month ago and I've been using this rapid brow is what it's called for the past 30 days and amazingly I'm starting to get little hairs growing in on the outside of my brows. These are darkened so they're not really as dark as what you see now but the first little hairs that grow in according to the comments that I read on this and this is very highly rated on Amazon the comment said that you'll start to get these little clear baby hairs that come in first and then eventually those hairs will fill in with color and they'll be grown up brow hairs and that is what seems to be happening for me. The directions on the rapid brow say it takes about 60 days to show results. I'm 30 days in right now. I've gone through this first tube so I go through about one tube a month and I'm already seeing a lot of those little baby hairs out there. They're little fine clearish type hairs and in another month, I'll do a video and show you the final results. Now, the next three empties that I have are products that you use every day and don't really think about. And mostly, especially with these two, I wouldn't have shown these to you in an empties video because they're so basic. 
but I wanted to explain what I'm doing in terms of these products and see if you have some ideas for replacements of these. I have really been reading lots and lots about health and cancer prevention and that kind of thing lately. And so little by little, I'm kind of inching into getting cleaner products, products that don't have the parabens, the sulfates, the harsh chemicals that supposedly are not good for our health. Here, I'll turn this around. I have used Irish Spring, this deodorant soap, for probably about 15 years, something like that. But I'm really thinking it's about time to switch this out to a more chemical-free version, a more natural version of deodorant soap. And so if you all have any great deodorant soaps that you buy at the health food store or whatever, please leave your information in the comments below because I will be replacing this with a completely new item. And I have used Arid XX for years, and I really want a less chemical-laden version of an antiperspirant deodorant. I really need both because I can sweat, as they say. And so I'm going to be doing some research on Amazon to find a good natural antiperspirant deodorant. And if you have any great ideas, let me know in the comments. Now, this next product I have not had much exposure to, and the word exposure is pretty perfect because somehow I think this is like a toxic chemical that I don't want near those areas, those sensitive areas, shall we say. I was looking for some shaving gel. I have never been waxed before down there, if you know what I mean, but I do shave that area, and usually I just use soap, but I decided it would be a little cleaner shave to get a shaving gel. So I got this Gillette Satin Care, ultra sensitive it says, and so I thought, oh, that must be perfect. Here is what it looks like, and this is still totally filled up. I have used it twice, and both times I used it, I used it, and then right away, I just felt very raw, very irritated. It was not a good situation. And after that first experience, I can't believe I went back for more, but I told my sister what had happened, and she said, oh, that's ridiculous. That can't cause that. That's for sensitive skin, sensitive areas. And I used it again a week later, and exactly the same thing happened. It was almost like I got an immediate bladder infection from it. I have never experienced anything like it. To me, this stuff is toxic, and I won't be repurchasing. Now, this next empty is something I really love. It's the L'Oreal Paris Magic Root Cover-Up in the color blonde. This is the lighter blonde. They have a light blonde and a dark blonde. So what you do is that when your roots start showing and maybe a little bit of gray is getting exposed there, you just take this little spray and spray it on. And I tried not just this one, and this is my fave. I will be repurchasing this. But I tried these other three root cover products because I did a video that I did about a month ago and I haven't posted it yet, but I'll show you all of the root cover products that I tried. But after trying all of these, some of which were very expensive, I think this was $30 or maybe even more than that. But after trying all of those, I came back to this little $7 L'Oreal Magic Root Cover-Up product. Really love this one. Actually though, I wish they doubled the size and doubled the price because this doesn't really go very far at all, but even with that, it's an excellent product and I will be repurchasing. Now, this next product is a product that you've seen many, many times in my empties because I have bought this for probably 20 years. It's the Aquage Beyond Shine. Absolutely love this. Basically, how you use it is after you blow dry your hair, you just spray this little mist and it's just a little fine oil mist in your hair and then you follow with your hot tools, in my case, a flat iron. And I absolutely love this because it gives my hair just a little bit of oil, which keeps it healthy and helps it respond beautifully to the flat iron treatment. Now, this next product I really wanted to like because I love the Kenra products in general, especially this Kenra Platinum line. And this is their Kenra Platinum Thickening Mousse, number 12. It says Density Plumping Mousse. And I would love to tell you that I love this, but to me, it was a mousse. You know, it was a mousse like my suave mousses and like my other mousses. If anybody has a great mousse out there that they think truly makes a difference, then I hope you'll let us all know in the comment section below because this was an expensive mousse and I didn't really think it was that great. Now, my next two products are dry shampoos and I haven't been washing my hair very much lately because I've been on this hair growth journey and very soon I'll do a video about that because my hair has really grown very rapidly and I'm so excited about that. 
but I tried this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo and I think it was maybe $25, very expensive, and I didn't find it to be any better than my dry shampoo from Suave Professional. So basically, like the commercial says, this does what this does for a whole lot less. So I will be repurchasing the Suave and this one has got to go. Now my last two products are supplements and the first product is this FiberCon and if you have problems with diarrhea, I'm going to go ahead and say it out there, then this product is fabulous and you really ought to try this. I take two of these in the morning with a big glass of water and ever since I started the FiberCon, I really haven't had any digestive problems at all and my doctor actually recommended this to me when I told him about that kind of embarrassing problem with number two. He said, well, have you tried FiberCon? And I said, no. And he said, go to Walgreens and pick that up and I bet that solves your problem. And he was right. Now my last product is a supplement that I'm using to help grow my hair. This is the Biosil for hair, skin, and nails. It says it reduces fine lines and wrinkles, thickens and strengthens hair, strengthens nails, and promotes healthy bones and joints. And the funny thing is, this is definitely helping to grow my hair. My hair is growing almost three quarters of an inch a month, and very soon I'll be doing a video about my hair growth journey because back at the end of November, November 27th to be exact, I cut my hair rather short and it's grown about two and a half inches in that time, which is really rapid. And if you're interested in seeing that video on my hair growth journey, then I hope you subscribe. And if you click that little bell, that will just send you email notifications of that and my other videos. But I've really been enjoying this Biosil and I think it's contributing to my great hair growth and people at work have been telling me that my skin has never looked better and they never say things like that. And I think this may have something to do with that. I can't really tell about my nails though because these are tips. And if you're interested in growing better hair, skin, and nails, the studies actually show that biotin does work. So if I were you, I might give this a try. Well, that was a look at my spring empties. And if you have comments on great products you love, I hope you'll share them in the comments section below because I'm always looking for great products to share with all of you. And one of the last things I do in every video is I read from one of these cards. These are the Language of Letting Go cards from Melody Beatty. And we're winding down here on the number of cards, but let's see what card God wants us to think about for today. Ooh, accepting change, accepting change. Today I will be open to the process of change. I will trust my higher power and believe that the place where I'll be dropped off is better than the place where I was picked up. I know that change is necessary to take me wherever I need to go. Friends, I absolutely love this card and it goes along with something that I just heard the other day that I've really been mulling over and thinking about a lot and that is say yes to life. Say yes, say yes. If it seems like a great thing, say yes. If it seems like a bad thing, say yes. And when we accept change and give it to God, we're able to accept life and let life take us where it wants us to go. Take care. See you next time.